Hydrogen is the most abundant gas in the universe, and hydrogen-powered cars only emit water vapor. In principle, therefore, hydrogen could be a cheaper and cleaner fuel for our cars. But hydrogen remains too dangerous in its liquid form to take on board enough fuel for a long journey. And so the race is on to find a way to store hydrogen at greater densities and at lower pressures. Research scientists here at Swiss-Norwegian Beam Line at the European Synchrotron Radiation Facility in Grenoble are working on the problem. The idea is to find a way to compress hydrogen in order to make it into a battery which could eventually replace conventional batteries in cars. What you see here, what I'm working with, is a diamond anvil cell which allows compression of materials to extreme pressures. Though in our daily lives we enjoy diamonds for their beauty, here we employ them to acquire information about the structure and properties of different materials. The aim is to find a solid chemical compound capable of storing and releasing hydrogen. Different materials are examined under extreme conditions to study their behavior at molecular level. To do this, scientists use a small unit to compress materials and then an X-ray beam to examine them. The beam is a thousand billion times brighter than those used in conventional hospital X-ray machines. We can explain synchrotron as an X-ray laser. Everybody today knows what a laser is. It's a projected beam of light. Synchrotron gives us the same thing, but the beam is much more powerful and in a different energy range, a range that allows us to penetrate deeper into the structure of a matter, to study it extremely precisely and to observe its smallest changes in various environments. Using robotic equipment, scientists have discovered new metal hydrides which might be used to store large quantities of hydrogen in the form of crystallic powder. Lithium borohydride is quite unique. It's a crystal structure, much more suitable for hydrogen storage than, for example, pressurized canisters or liquid hydrogen, which requires to be cooled and which is quite dangerous, being explosive and prone to uncontrolled leaking. Solid compounds with large hydrogen content are much safer. They're even safer than the gasoline fuel used now. In fact, if somebody today suggested fueling cars with something as dangerous as gasoline, the idea would be rejected. Gasoline is explosive and has too high a vapor pressure. When a compound is found which works under ambient conditions, it will be possible to build cheap, safe and easy-to-use hydrogen-powered cars. Thank you.